Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to a Tuesday edition of Five Minutes with Phil. Thank you for being with me here today. I hope you're doing well. Um, I hope that these five minute sessions bless you in a big way. In fact, you know what? There's a way that you could actually spread the word. And uh, one of those is through our Facebook page. We have a Facebook page that is devoted entirely to nothing but five minutes with Phil. And that gives you the, op the, uh, the opportunity and the ability to uh, share every one of them. Uh, you can subscribe or follow that page so you never miss one. Uh, it, it's a great way to stay in touch with Five Minutes with Phil. So if we could bless you or if we could bless somebody that you care about, that's a huge win for us. So thanks for giving us that opportunity. Now let's jump into God's Word for us today. We are in the book of Zephaniah. Zephaniah is one of those little books at the end of the Old Testament that a lot of people like to kind of skip over and, so they can get right to the New Testament. And what I, what I have found is that there are some really powerful messages in those small books. And uh, today is no exception. And I want to I wanna remind you how God feels about you. Uh, if there's anything that I think can shipwreck someone's walk with God is having this distorted view of God's outlook on you and how God feels about you. But then I read Zephaniah 317 and look at this. Let's see what God has to say. It says, For the Lord your God is living among you. He is a mighty Savior. He will take delight in you with gladness. With his love, he will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with joyful songs. Okay, so God is in your midst. He, he is there with you. He, he is not some distant entity that you got to work yourself up into some spiritual lather in order to connect with him eventually. He's right there. There's an old song that says he's as close as the mention of his name. And he is right there. He's right there. He's in your midst. And we're reminded that he's a mighty savior and that he delights in you with gladness. So let's, let's, let's unpack that real quick. He's mighty. So what's that mean? He's stronger than you. He's got more ability than you he's more powerful than you and he's more powerful than anything that you might face he's a mighty savior and he cares about you in fact where it says that he will delight in you with gladness you bring joy are you ready for this you bring joy to god's heart how about that he delights in you he, uh, he rejoices, the scripture says, over you with joyful songs. You, a lot of us, you're, you're just not going to, you can't picture this, but it's true. You make him sing. He, he, he rejoices because of you. You bring a God to smile face. Uh, you, you, I'm sorry, you bring a smile to God's face. You know, the Bible says that he loves us with an everlasting love, a love that never ends. Um, there's a preacher that once said, I believe it was Max Licato, that said that if God had a refrigerator, your picture would be on it. <laughs> but he very much cares for you. A lot. And today, if, if, your, if your concept of God is some kind of God who is mad at you, can't stand you, doesn't want anything to do with you, you bother him when you pray, none of that is accurate. None of it. None of it is true. None of it is accurate. It's not even close to truth. What's true is that God really cares about you and delights in you. And it would give me a lot of joy to know that every person who hears this today would understand the great joy that you give to God because he loves you. 
and I hope you live that out today. All right, got to let you go. I, uh, I pray that blesses you. I pray you have a wonderful day, and Lord willing, we'll see you again next time. Okay, take care. We love you. Bye-bye.